Buckle up because we have a packed episode for you today. We're still in Southeast Utah and we didn't even think about the fact that we were gonna be an hour and a half away from the closest Walmart. So of course, we had to make a small town, AKA expensive grocery run. That one hurts. We also encountered the craziest dust storm. This is stupid. This is insane. Finally finish our long overdue decal project, explore a hidden gem that's way better than money in the valley, and we finally share the moment you all have been waiting for. We got Trinity's DNA results, and you're gonna be in for the shock of your life. Okay, we have that was a, That was a shock. We have a, yes, the slide is pulled in, and no, it is not a travel day. It's a windy day. 30 mile an hour winds, this whole RV is shaking. Shaking, I was working on the couch earlier and was almost airborne. I mean, it wasn't quite that Trinity dramatic. Trinity but was sitting there too, and she just she was, was like, so I unsure. can't rest. So we're gonna escape the wind, and we're actually gonna drive about 20 miles away to a grocery store. Unfortunately, it's not like a Walmart or something like that, so we're kind of concerned because we have things on here like non-dairy cheese and almond milk. We're hoping they have them and that it's not like twice the price. Yeah, all they have here in Bluff, which is the closest town, are two trading posts, which didn't look very promising. And then the closest Walmart is an hour and a half away in a completely other state. So hopefully these prices aren't too bad and they have what we need because it kind of depends on what we're eating this week for our meal plan. We're not gonna take you this time, okay? You make sure the RV doesn't blow away. Just hang out on the couch. And you like it when we leave you here. I know, he loves being alone. He's like, let me introvert in my Heidi hut. Here he goes. What did I say, 28 by 24? Mm-hmm. Do you remember this from the, the last video? That was a Trinity special right there. <laughs> Need to refill some water jugs, brought our last gallon. There's a wall in the so wind. So much stuff There's to a do. wall in the wind. Okay, wait, hurry, my hurry. drink, I can't grab it. <laughs> Thank you. Dust is in my teeth now. I can feel it crunching. What just happened? This is the second time it's done it. I think we have an issue with our starter. There it went. Yeah, but it did that before too, where it's turned over, started, and then didn't start. I'm gonna have to do some research. The dust up there. I know. I think it's actually a good thing that we parked down in this little valley instead of on top of that ridge at this point. Would you agree? Yeah, I would agree. Sorry, I was looking. You left the bedroom slide out, but that's okay. It'll be all right. Oh, sorry. It's not the main slide. That right there is one of the trading posts. Yep. We haven't been in that one yet. <laughs> nope. They've got coffee. They do. We don't drink coffee. We just don't drink coffee. So just go to Clark's first. I'm kind of curious to try this. That one hurts. I knew it would be a little pricey. <laughs> I think I am done. I didn't get everything on the list, but I did get the majority. All right, so what's your guess for how much uh, this okay. is going to run us? So I think we're going to end at about 140. Ooh. Can I do the over under on it? Sure. This gambling problem must have resurfaced. I'm going to go under just because I think it's going to be around 120. Okay. And that's everything. I didn't see these chocolates. Okay, now you're adding stuff to the cart <laughs> after the fact. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll tell you who won. You, you lost! I couldn't wait! Holy wind! 163.97. That was the damage. So that I was, was 20. Done. I was $20. You know, I said it was gonna be $20 away from 140, so I think I won. Isn't that how it works? <laughs> Been trying to do a little bit more of the meal planning to take some of that off of Kaylin's plate. And last month, how much did we spend? In groceries? $600. How much do we typically spend or try to spend? I like to try to spend around 400, but it's been eking up to 500. Right. And so I just want to, I want the record to show that whatever it comes to this month, our first grocery stop was at a place where almost everything was twice as expensive. 
So if we're close to 600 again, it might not be all my fault. And you can see our monthly spending summaries on Instagram. So go follow us over there at Open Roading if you haven't already. And we will publish, let's see, this one will be April. So we'll publish it around like May 1st or 2nd. So that will go over the actual screen. All right, but that's sharp. What about this one? You don't mind gold? Well, I have gold fixtures. $33.99. $50. Can you just have a maybe price check this? Yeah, I'm going to. What is it? $50. $50? If we spend like 20 more bucks, we can just buy one pre-made. I think maybe if we just repair the screen. Yep. That might be better than nothing. Eight yeah, because at least if we fix it, then we can just have like the screen door open with us inside the RV. Yeah, she, she doesn't have a need to like she's never burst had a out of it. Bingo! They have it. Hey! Here, you can you can carry it. <laughs> This 7-Eleven offers a dump station, although their dump station is closed right now, and uh, water if you do a $10 gas purchase. So I just fueled up my tank. Careful where you're flinging that. Sorry, <laughs> wasting water. There we go. We've had an evolution of water jugs over the past five years. I started out with giant, like square seven gallon ones, and I had, I think, six of them back here. wind anyway and then i shifted to these uh reliance ones from walmart but it seems like walmart doesn't carry them anymore and so as they break as they get holes in them and whatnot uh, shoot i'm now starting to switch to the bright blue igloo ones i'm not sure if i'm gonna like the igloo ones better or not i don't like the fact that they're a little taller but that's our that's been our water jug evolution all right now just pro be good to go and my eyes are full of sand <laughs> i thought you were out of the wind i thought so too That's all we get yeah. <laughs> holy cow who needs eyeballs not me oh having fun out there miserable so um, that guy, he also said it's only windy here twice a year. It's windy once in the spring and once in the fall for about six months each. All right, let's go home. I got grit in my teeth. I got grit in my eyeballs. We just need to make sure the RV didn't blow over. We, we're gonna get sandblasted. I don't know if it translates on camera, but like look at the orange that we're about to drive into. Yeah. Like this is The visibility is ridiculous. terrible. Your lights on and everything. They are. There goes a the school bus. Oh there goes a the semi. Word. I'd be paranoid if I were any of those people driving right now. You can't see hardly anything. Okay, we're coming out of it. Maybe it was just that one spot. I think it was that field that's causing like all the dust. Yeah, you can see it picking up. Having fun driving? I just what? I'm worried about this guy. Ooh, going through the crosswind uh -huh. that we just went through. Ooh. There we are, that little, little white dot. It is still upright. <laughs> there she is. Aw. Hi, did you miss us? You miss us. Look at that dust coming in. It has been a morning. Joseph went to the post office to pick up some mail this morning. And we have to update you on a few things. Here he is now. It's not good. So I'm driving up here and I'm saying, don't shut off the car, don't shut off the car, don't shut off the car. Oh. Have you told them anything yet? I just said we had a major issue. So I went to the post office this morning. I should have gotten video of it, but I was so flustered at the time. We've had a couple noises with our starter the past two days. Is yours? 
What just happened? This is the second time it's done it. And I've just been like, oh, well, that's something I'm gonna have to get looked at. But uh, I was at the post office and it took me 15 minutes to get the truck started. I would, I would turn the key, the starter engages, like I hear the noise, but it just wouldn't engage with the engine. And it would engage with the engine for like a half second. And then you just hear whirr of the starter doing its thing. Baby. After a while, finally started up and I don't dare shut it off now. So this is gonna just throw all our plans into the wind. Because we were trying, like today <laughs> was the day we were gonna try to finish all the decals. So we haven't told you this yet. But Let's go show them. Yeah, we, we, we started working on the decals since we've been here and we actually have them all off. We haven't like gotten the adhesive off of that, we've but got this one we've got baby. one little baby stripe done. We were gonna wrap that project up because the wind is done. The wind isn't bad tomorrow, I looked. Uh, so we still should be able to do it tomorrow. But we have to drop off the truck. They can get it in anytime today and uh, they could get it in tomorrow, but I just, I don't risk, I wanna risk shutting the truck I off. I know, I know. When it takes 20 minutes to get it started, you know, it's a, it's a gamble. You turn it off, it could turn on the next time. So why I was at the post office was a couple friends of ours from Michigan, when we work camped up there last summer, reached out and said, hey, what's your address? We have something to send you. And I, I've i already opened up what they sent to me and I absolutely love it. Thank you so, so much, Courtney. Ooh, I'm kicking stuff. Thank you so much, Courtney and Megan. But Kaylin hasn't seen it yet, so I'm going to get this? her reaction. Oh, Hang this on. is for me? Yes, yeah, so they packaged them separate. They had a J Aww, and a K. That's so sweet. Oh. oh, I love it. Oh, my word. This is amazing. So Look at the little sparkle. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. I love it. So we came to our decision. I'm gonna run to town. The truck's still idling out there. I'm gonna, we're gonna eat lunch. Then I'm going to jump in the truck, run to town. We're gonna get this starter changed. Should only cost us about 400 bucks. So I'm happy with that actually. I, for some reason, expected it to be more. Can you peel a mandarin for me? Sure. Just so you know, I peeled oranges for Kaylin long before <laughs> it was a social test. media test. Basically, the point is, if your partner is willing to peel the orange for you without any sort of questioning, they are a keeper. Thank you. And I am gonna stay here and see what I can get done with the decals. Trin, you're not going. Here, I'll hold on to her. <laughs> All right, this is the one I taped last night, so I'm gonna finish it up. I need, where's the brown paper? Got it. Joseph usually does the painting, so I'm gonna try it. I think I, I, think I can do a decent job. This may look like the first time that I'm leaving the RV. This is actually the second. I've already come back once because I forgot my wallet. Yep. And I can't hide it because I walked in Kaylin's time lapse. All right, paper is on, ready to paint. That part always takes longer than I think it's going to be. And it's like the worst part, especially when you're trying to do it by yourself. But now comes the fun part. Actually, no, the fun part is peeling it off. We still got, we still got to get through the paint. I think this plan is pretty foolproof. The only way, and trust me, this has crossed my mind a lot. The only way this plan goes south is if for some reason they can't finish the part today and they can't give me the truck back. Uh, if that happens, I guess I'm either going to have to find a hotel or bike home. It's about 25 miles. It is mostly downhill, but still 25 miles. I'm not in 25 mile biking shape. Uh, so those are my options. If that happens, we're really gonna hope that that doesn't happen. The wind is starting to pick up, unfortunately. I've got one more coat of this, three top coats. So that could put a crimp in my plans. I can still tape, but I can't paint. Nope. Looking good. Okay, we have another windbreak. All right, 
last coat. My last coat. And that's what I did. <laughs> so sad. Now I'm going to wait for it to dry and try to sand it down and oh, last final coat. All right, this I think is finally done. It's not perfect, but it looks better. So let's get this off, see what it looks like. All right, one down, a ton more to go. So I got the car into the shop. It's just a seven tenth of a mile ride to the laundry facility. Man, I shouldn't have worked out this morning. Get my workout in on the bike. But anyway, just a short ride. So I'll spend the time there. It's about uh, one o'clock. They said it should be done by the time they close, which is five. So hopefully I can hang out at the laundry facility for a while. Cause uh, I can't carry the laundry on my bike. <laughs> I apologize in advance for my audio. My phone fell over earlier and it bent. It bent the little receiver connector port. So, great. <laughs> now I don't have good audio anymore. It's three o'clock now. The truck place, the shop closes at five. He has had no phone call yet. Um, the only mode of transportation he has is his pedal bike. <laughs> so, and he was actually talking about riding his bike back here, which, he would totally do it too, but let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, I'm getting ready to start on, not one of these actually. I finished the taping, but I'm gonna start this little one right here. I need a quick win, and then maybe we'll see about doing one of these larger ones. This is my new method. Spraying, letting it dry, reading a book. Spraying, letting it dry, read a book. All right, we got the truck back. Let's check this out. Key in the ignition. All right, she fired right up. This place, they did right by me. Great experience there at Montella's Auto Repair. They quoted me $411 to fix the starter. They charged me $362. To me, anybody who comes in underneath what their estimate was and does the work in the same timely fashion that they promised over the phone, those are the people you want to work with. They're good people. Salt of the earth people. Missed you. Missed you. I see dinner. Got Subway. They didn't have any brown not bag deli. Not as good deli, as the brown sorry. bag deli. Come see what I did. It's not a lot. I did that. Oh, you got that one done. I got that little doodad done. I taped everything that I could and then really I finished this stripe. Can you find my mistake? Oh, it was in this one? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I wouldn't call it a mistake, but maybe here. Yes, that's where I, would not that's where I messed There's up. There's no way. Okay, good. Good, I'm happy. Would it be an open roading project if it didn't take, you know, a lot longer than expected? Uh, we're hoping to have this done today. Are we done yet? <laughs> no, <laughs> but I got my two stripes done despite the wind. And I am desperately trying to get the adhesive off of the rest. I've got this slide out almost completely done, but the sun is setting. It is getting below 50, which is when we can't paint anymore. And of course the wind is finally calming down. Today, I think is one of the happiest days of my life. It's been what, two months? This, this has the record for Joe projects right Look here. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Isn't it beautiful? We finally finished the decals. It only took us another, what? We thought we'd do it in three days. It took us five, <laughs> five or six, yeah. but oh, I'm so happy. It looks so much better than it looked just five days ago. Mm -hmm. And 
And now we don't have to be embarrassed, like about the outside of our view. We and can now, take beautiful pictures in Alaska. And now you don't have to ask us in the comments, are you guys ever going to get that decal yes. project done? Now, now is the answer. We're going to finish the decals now. In case you don't know what we're talking about with these decals, we'll link to a video where we actually did the other side. And in that video, we give all the supplies and all the information on how and why we did this decal project. There is one extra thing we learned though, this time around that we don't have in that video. And that is tape matters. We talked about the automotive tape that we used on this to get the clean line. Well, over top of that, we were using Scotch blue tape, painter's tape, and with the wind and everything else, it was just impossible. It kept coming off and off and off. So Ace Hardware painter's tape turns out to be the winner. That stuff sticks up really well. So the automotive tape combined with that Ace Hardware tape, combination made in heaven. We also took the decal off the front. That was the Jayco designer logo up there that was just looking really crummy. And we have a question for you guys. Let us know in the comments if we should just leave it plain or if we should put our open roading logo on the front. I'm still undecided. Someone sends us shirts with logos and suddenly Kaylin wants to put our logo everywhere. And because we keep it real here with the cost, you'll know that on the other side, or if you watch the other video, we spent about 500 something on the entire project. And we said maybe like 100, 150 more, up to 200 more to get this other side done based on the extra spray paint that we needed and extra tape and paper. Well, we ended at like $684, which still is a great deal compared to the thousand thousands of dollars we would have spent to have this custom wrapped or to have custom decals made out of vinyl for us to replace them with. Now we get to go on an adventure. So we gotta pack up for that. We're not gonna tell you where we're going yet, but we hope it's a lot better than, I mean, okay, we weren't <laughs> super disappointed by Monument Valley. Like it was still really cool, but it, it the road was just so bad. And you can watch the last video if you wanna know exactly our thoughts on that. But we're hoping this one's I'm really looking for, I've been looking forward to this you since have. we've been here. And we've been here for two weeks. So this should be exciting. First, I gotta make sandwiches. PB and J special. The queen perched on her couch. Stay tuned because we have a surprise for you when we get back from where we're going. I bet you can guess what it is. Hi, Coach. Mwah. Mwah. We are headed to Goosenecks. State Park. I don't know if you've ever heard of this place before. I feel like I've seen it in photos, but I never knew what it was called and I never knew like where it was located. It reminds me a little bit of Horseshoe Bend, the way like the river goes around the rock, although we have not yet been to Horseshoe Bend. So I'm excited to see this. Joseph's the one that actually found Yeah, this I just spot. found it. I found a picture of Instagram on Instagram with it and I was like, huh, I wonder where that is. Yeah. It turned out it was close by. And from all my research, unlike uh, Horseshoe Bend, which is part of the national park area, this is a state park, and all my research tells me that drones are allowed, which could allow me for a chance for some cooler pictures and video as well, so I'm excited about that. Hello. Drones prohibited. March through October. Probably because of like very birds nesting or something. I'm thinking that's why it's like seasonal. Yeah, I'm very bummed. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's leave. <laughs> no, you wanted to come here. If it was only because of the drone, then you need to check your attitude. <laughs> First view. Oh, that is really, really cool. Look at how carved out it is. And the other one's over here. So you got one horseshoe. Oh, I didn't even see. There's another over horseshoe. there on that side. I'm not gonna lean over too much because <laughs> it's a long way down. I feel like I just roll though. Yeah, it, the first fall wouldn't kill you, but the roll, the continuing roll would hurt. <laughs> Let's go check out over here. Oh yeah, it goes in like this. I wish you could see all the way around. Oh wait, there's like three. One, two, three. Do you see? Oh yeah. And do you know how you would be able to see all the way? A drone? <laughs> you had a drone. <laughs> I'm he's, not bitter or anything. He's not bitter. <laughs> I'm totally bitter.
Though there's not like any hiking or biking trails here. I feel like I'm, a, I'm way taller than you now. <laughs> But there is a picnic table, there's a big parking area. So it's really just kind of a stop off the side of the road. But it's really cool. Like if you have a chance to be here in the southeastern Utah area, this is way more impressive to me, I think, yeah. than Monument Valley. At some point, we're gonna have to go to Horseshoe Bend and compare the two to see because this yeah. is this is just it's really really pretty. And having the three bends all visible from one spot, mm -hmm. pretty epic. And in case you're curious about the cost, this is $5 per vehicle, which isn't too bad for a state park. And I also did some research, and by I, I mean Cameron did all the research. You can dry camp here for 10 bucks a night, and it looks like you have a killer view, but obviously no hookups. Bye, Gooseneck. On to our next stop, which we didn't tell you we were doing two stops today. Because we didn't know we were doing we, we two stops. We weren't sure, but we were like, hey, on the way home, do you want to stop by? So it's Valley of Gods, and I think it's just you drive through it, but it looks pretty cool, and I think it's free. And I am going to fly the drone, because I'm pretty sure that's a drone area, and I wanted to fly my drone today. He just really wants to fly the drone. I hope you can see those mountains, because man, that looks really cool above the red rock. I have to say, we are super impressed with this area. Just, it's so beautiful to be out west again with the red rock and the open skies and the open areas. And it's just, this has been really fun to explore Southeast Utah. However, tomorrow, which will be the next video for you guys, we're gonna still be in Utah, but we're taking our, our trek up north a little bit more going to Moab, which is like the iconic Southwest destination. Ooh, is it the iconic Southwest destination? Or is that I, Sedona? I was gonna say Sedona is what, I, let us know in the comments, what is the iconic Southwest destination? Because Kaylin made a very declarative statement about Moab. <laughs> and I'm very curious, it, it could be something that we're totally not even thinking yeah. of right now. Yeah, let us know. Someone's definitely blending in with the Southwest vibe over yeah. there. <laughs> with, with their my shirt. orange shirt. <laughs> and yes, we are still headed north towards Alaska. I know some of you have been wondering like, when do we get to see Alaska content? And we're very excited to get up there and show you guys. But it's still cold. And so I think we're gonna be crossing the Canadian border about like mid-May-ish. And then probably hitting the Alcan in early June. Here we go, Valley of the Gods. Not to be confused with Garden of the Gods. Which is in Col Colorado. Colorado? Yeah. Which we have not been to yet, but here it's very nice. I see a cow already. It's a 17 mile road. It is not a like loop. So it's 17 miles and it dumps you off on a main road somewhere else. And so we're gonna actually go seven of the miles to Castle Butt, uh, Castle Butte. And it's a mistake. And see that, then turn around and come back and we'll do 14 miles and be back where we started. But here's the important bit of information. I saw nothing that said drones aren't allowed. So we're gonna find some pretty areas and fly the drone. seven miles in this was going to be our turnaround point but we are having such a good time this drive is so beautiful it is just as bumpy as the other one but we're going to actually finish the 17 mile road just because we want to explore this whole thing definitely not a great road but we didn't still. pay 16 dollars exactly. to drive this road. it's like an american safari <laughs> cows, cows. <laughs> You go to Africa, you can see lions, giraffes. Come to America, you can see cows. This really was the perfect way to end this two week stay here in Utah. We have been so busy with work projects and then the decals and everything. Yeah, I feel like it's our reward. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're working hard. Totally. And just take, taking the day today and relaxing and being able to go on this drive and check out Goosenecks. Oh, it's just felt so good. But really, this was the second most exciting thing of the day to us. Uh, should I tell them? Should I just tell them? Okay. If you want to let the dog out of the bag. I'm going to let the dog out of the bag. We have had an email sitting in our inbox for almost a week now from Wisdom Panel, and it's Trinity's DNA results. So when we get back, we're going to open up that email, click the link, and we're going to find out if any of you all were right in the comments. Alrighty. We have not looked at this email. He literally sat in my spot. I don't know. How's this work? Does this work? I think it works. Okay. okay. We have forced ourselves to not look at this email, which has been very, 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 very hard. Let me see. When it came in on April 7th, today is April 13th. So, yes. Yeah, so a week. <laughs> About. Are we ready to click on it? You ready? You ready, Trin? Are you ready? All right, here we go. Wisdom panel, your DNA results, or Trinity's DNA okay. results oh, are in. Oh, you have in. to click a button. View results. Oh, wait, wait. First we have to say oh. what we think. Oh, no. <laughs> First we have to say what we think they are. Yes. Okay, so I think it's like Roddy first, lab second, and then some sort of hound mix. And I think it is gonna be primarily Roddy with a second of Kerr. I'm kind of hoping it's primarily Kerr, second Roddy, because then mm -hmm. I just want to call her our karate dog. Um, but that's my guess. Okay, so now now we can look. Ready? Yes. Okay, okay. Tree, tree results, results are here. here. Let's click the button. Here, you want to click it? I want to click it. Really? Wow. Really? Okay, we have that was a, that was a shock. We have a purebred. <laughs> she is a 100% Catahoula leopard, leopard dog. 100%. Whoa. How is Okay, I am just like this, shocked this right now. Leans into my theory with her. What's your theory? Part of my theory was that she was from a puppy mill. Oh. And that's a there, possibility. Because there, there are signs of abuse, there are signs of neglect, yeah. uh, and a whole bunch of things. And so potentially why why she was dumped, I don't know. But I like I am <laughs> I am so shocked right I now. I did not expect to Does see it. Does it say 100%. anything else? Like it, it has I mean it is a type of hound. Yep, and that is what she looks like. She literally does not have... <laughs> what her parents looks like. Catahoula, Catahoula. She does not have anything else Katahoula, in Katahoula. her. Wow. And now we're getting her spayed next week, which yeah, probably so is she... going to make some people mad. <laughs> no, I but... think it's the best thing for her. Oh, for sure. So thanks so much for watching another video of ours. We just so appreciate you being here and following our journey. And we'll catch you guys next week. Bye.